What's going on, everybody? I'm your boy Retro Bliss, and this is Retro Bliss Gaming. How's everybody doing? It is Wednesday. I think it's the third. Yeah, it's the third. January 3rd, man, the day, it's uh, moving right along. I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to play some RubyQ. RubyQ is a homebrew port of Qbert. Um, many say that it's just a hack of the original Qbert uh, port of the 2600, but it's not. It's There's a lot of uh, variation in the game, and so I'm going to kind of show that when we play. Before that, we do that, we got a few things I want to sh tell you about. Uh, you guys just see some uh, games there on the on the screen, Defender and Jungle Hunt. The reason, <coughs> excuse me, that those are up there, we have a contest on the channel. It's called the Retro Bliss Ninja Contest. And what that is, we pick two Atari 2600 games every week. Uh, and we want you to play those games and get your high scores and send those to me here at the channel. And uh, whoever gets the high scores for those games... Will become the Retro Bliss Ninja for those games, and you will get a Retro Bliss Ninja card and sticker in the mail. The cards look like this, and the stickers look like this. I have a green screen, so they're going to look kind of funky, but they look like that. And uh, it's a fun way to uh, uh, kind of get you to play your 2600 games. So uh, we've been doing this for a while, we've had a lot of fun with it. I do ask though. That uh, if you play this, I want you to show your score like this. Uh, my friend Operation Shutdown, when he showed the score for Venture the other day, he, he wrote down the date on a piece of paper and he uh, showed it within the picture. And that's what you do. A lot of, that's what a lot of people are doing. I, I just want to make sure it's a current picture uh, when I get it. So uh, anyway, those are the games. Um, send your scores to me by the um, 8th of uh, January at retroblissgaming at gmail.com. If you have any questions, send them to me at that same email address. Uh, also, there's something I want to tell you guys about. We have an exciting new uh, uh, thing that we have going on on the channel. It's a, a club membership. It's called the Retro Bliss Cub at Club, and it has some exciting perks uh, that includes loyalty badges. And uh, what that is, is that when you're on the live chat or you make comments on the channel, you have uh, these badges that show up next to your name. And um, depending on how long that you're in the club, those loyalty badges change. So the longer that you're in your badges, uh, you get promoted from within. And also, as a member uh, of the club, you have access to special emojis uh, during the live chat and... In comments so and they're sp uh, special to the channel so uh, they're ones that I've uploaded that are special to the channel and uh, the more members that we have in the club the more emojis that I can add so um, that's something that's exciting and also as a member of the club you have uh, special access to member only videos members only videos and early access to new videos and so, um, and one other thing, um, if you're a member of the club, upon re request, um, if you let me know at retrobliskgaming at gmail.com, I will send you um, wallpapers uh, for your computers, uh, for your computer, um, uh, tablet, cell phone, whatever, If as long as I know uh, what brand or what uh, resolution, that kind of thing. Um, I have I have them for you. I'll be happy to send those to you. Um, and it's a really um, fun club to be in. And so if you have any questions, please let me know. So anyway, we're going to have some fun today. We're going to play some Reboot Q. So let's get to it. See what Mike did in the chat? He just put his uh, his icons in there. Those are those are the uh, the emojis that we have so far. <laughs> he says, "Be a bliss ninja." That's right. All right, let's get to it here. This is a really fun game.
I haven't played it in a while. I was looking back. And the last time that I actually played it on the channel was during the last chance sale. I showcased it. And, um... I forgot. I wanted to check real quick. Hold on a minute. My friend Silvio, uh, Mag I had to pronounce his name. Uh, Magno, um made this game and uh when he made it i was able to get in contact with him through um uh, john champo uh J he had given credit during the game when i bought it for Atari age and so i went through john champo and uh um uh, silvio was uh very gracious and kind enough to give me a review copy uh for the channel and so that's what we're playing now this is the a rom version which is not available I, most people don't have this and so I'm very lucky to have this. So we're playing this through Stella right now. So um, very cool to have this. Very lucky to have this as well. All right. So um, there's an option in here. To, they have these the scan line thing that goes on, and when you're, it's okay when you're playing live uh, or on a CRT, but when I'm trying to stream, it kind of gets a little annoying. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put it on classic, which is basically the same thing it was for the original uh, Cubert, and we're just going to play a game. This game, when you first start, the controls are very confusing. But once you get the hang of it, for the most part, I mean, I make mistakes every now and then, but for the most part, I've gotten the hang of it. Hey, old fart is in the house. What's going on, brother? Uh-oh. He almost got me. I was going to get me there for a minute. Now, there's a target color in the top left of the screen, and that's what color that the cubes have to change to. Now, you see that it's a lime green, but when I'm... You have to... Step on them twice to get to get to go to that color. So it's getting a little more difficult now. Nope. Dirty dogs. Now the green one makes you invincible. Oh, I wanted to get him. So the target color now is red. Oh, 
I want to jump down. Doggone it. Okay, target color is now green. Oh! Get away from me. Uh-oh. I was gonna jump on that. Didn't make it. Stupid thing. Doggone, I'm dead. That game over. Ah! What's nice about this game, it has, if you, um, what, and enough, well, I'm saying nice, but it's not nice because uh, the game was available in the Atari Age store um, during, but during the last chance sale, um, after that, they quit selling it. <sighs> so, all right, let's try again. Silvio Magno, Magno, or however you pronounce it. I believe it's Italian. I don't know. We may try some other options here. No! I wanted to go the other way. That was a, just a mistake. It wasn't... It was just stupidity on my part. No! No, what are you doing? No, I thought I hit up. Trust me, I know how to control it. I'm just not doing a very good job of it. Seriously, people. If you've ever played the original Qbert that was ported over, you'll you'll notice that uh, Qbert doesn't bounce. In that version, he bounces in this version. The sprite bounces. Mr. Postile's here.
Loser! Now the target color's red. It's getting a little harder now. Oh, I want to go up. I thought I hit up. Doggone it. I felt like I was Mr. Postal playing Popeye there for a minute. <laughs> Target color's green now, so... Tougher, the sprites are coming. No, oh, doggone it. <laughs> yeah, on the um. If you have the cartridge of this, if you have an Atari Vox or save key, it will save your high scores. So. Those of you who may have gotten this on the last chance sale, get you a save key. See where it says Champ Games down there? I thought, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a hold of John and see if he can get a hold of this guy, man. I wanna get I wanna get a digital copy of this so I can review it on the channel. And and Silvio was very kind and gracious. Let's play again. No! I, when as soon as I hit up, I was like Where's the rage reset? Oh, what am I doing? No, I tell you what, I love Mr. Postal. Um, I love watching him on his channel. He loves Popeye. If you like Popeye, man, you really need to check out Mr. Postile's channel. It's not just Popeye, though. He's got a lot of cool stuff on his channel. Ooh. Ooh. I should have been dead there. I figured I was going to get out of that because I, I thought he was going to. All right, it's going to get tougher now because the. Oh, 
Oh, I was trying to get him, and I shouldn't. I committed suicide. The green ball makes you invincible for a while. Did you get elevator uh, action last night? Uh, did you get it in the mail? Uh, Mr. Postile? I'm hoping my review is going to be up today. I was... No! It was supposed to be up a week or two ago. With the holidays and everything, I just could not get to it. I pretty much had all the raw footage. No! I'm talking, I can't do anything. Oh, duh. I'm sorry. No, he was uh he was playing it on his I arcade is what he was doing. That's what um Mr. Postile was doing. Probably. Things are annoying. They sound like I'm not gonna tell you what it sounds like. No. Thought I hit up. Doggone it. Target color is green. You gotta kind of pay attention to that. No! I zigged when I should have zagged. Game over. Let's play again. What am I doing? I know better than what I'm doing. I had to do that. I was hoping to get it. The green ball makes you invincible. No, up, oh, no. Doggone it, what am I doing? No, you dog.
Went the wrong way. What did I do that for? I'm moving around so fast, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chickens is in the house. Mr. Chickens, uh, he let me know today that he updated his Atari 2600 Plus, and now his Asteroids um, works good, and he can play uh, Circus Convoy now. <laughs> what am I doing? I was trying to get him. After this game, I'm going to try a different variation. There's different variations in this game. It, it, I didn't want to do that. I don't know why my controller, I don't, I just did it. Can't really blame the controller, I guess. it over apparently I didn't what? <laughs> what am I doing I don't know what I'm doing today <laughs> all right Mike leave me alone bro he's <laughs> telling me a poor craftsman blames his tools um, all right, let's see what's going on here. Let's put it on funky mode and see what the difference is. Oh, I forgot. Those things make when they when they come down cold like that, they uh things change in this game. The the, the locations of the discs can change. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey, Cal, my Cincinnati brother. What's going on? I'm not going to get him. I can't see where I'm at. Ah! Doggone it. It's cold in Price Hill, yep. It's definitely cold in Price Hill today. I didn't want to do that, but I didn't have a choice. You know what? I don't know if I put it on funky mode or not. I might not have. I had it on funky mode before. Dirty dog. Yep, it is funky mode. I can't do it. Ah! I need a dirty dog mode, that's right. No! Lucky on that one. Oh, <laughs> the disc went away. The disc went away just as I jumped. Dirty dogs. Okay, target. Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Target color's red. The disc was going to go away anyway. I would have been dead. No. Doggone it. Hey, John Champo's in the house. I was talking about you, man. I know you helped out with this game somewhat. Um, we 
We played kicks the other day. <clears throat> I'm actually hoping to have my review on elevator. <clears throat> Elevator agent <laughs> action. I can't remember. I'm going to brain fart. Anyway, it's going to be out today. I'm hoping. Hold on a minute. Agent, I was right the first time. I think. Yep. There it is. Right there. <clears throat> And for those of you who uh, want that or Turbo Arcade, go to champ.games in your browser. John will hook you up. They're amazing games. They're awesome. You need to get them in your collection for your Atari 2600. They won't play your Atari 2600 Plus, though. <clears throat> All right, let's play some more. I like that funky mode. Let's play some more. Kind of challenging. Well. Doggone it, my control was not good on that. That was my fault. Oh, you dog. I gotta go over him to... There it goes. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's try that again. <laughs> I hit up. I hit up. Dirty dogs. Committed. I had already committed. Dog got it. Dirty dog. Thieven Hobbit. No. John Shampoo says that he doesn't think that. It, oh, his games not are not going to be able to be, um, play on the. Oh, I can't play and talk. Uh, they're not going to be uh, compatible. I mean, uh, actually, Conquest of Mars will play, and I think Avalanche will play. I'm 
trying to think. Dirty dogs. What am I waiting on here? What do I need to do? I hit pause. If you hit if you hit the fire button while you're playing, it pauses. Why won't it? Oh, you know what? I think I need to get the green ball. I've got to survive. Dog, I've got to survive till I get the green ball. Dog. I went hit up. Oh, dog. Let's go. I like this funky mode, though. It's challenging. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> Let's go. That was a rage reset. If y'all don't know what that means. I should have stayed put. What was I doing? Mega Cubert is really challenging. I had forgotten about that game. Is that a is that a gen I can't remember. Is that Genesis? What platform was that on, Cannabis? Wanna hit up? <laughs> I'm going to blame my controller because I bought I bought two new ones because I was having issues so I just haven't opened them yet. I got a new tool because my old tool wasn't working right. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> 
All right, let's go to, um, let's see. Let's go to mad mode. Why not? That that flashing one will take you, it's like a teleporter, it teleports you to another cube. There are two cubes on the I did it again. that with disc was there because I need that green thing to, I won't be able, I have to survive until that. <laughs> Blame it on the drain, <laughs> the weird, weird Al Yankovic version. Okay, let's go back to classic mode and I'm gonna put the, put it on black. I kind of like that, that the blocks on the black. That's kind of cool looking, I think. It should be uh, MC Hammer code. Can't touch this is what it should be, but I'm not. That's not working out too good for me right now.
Dang it! Getting a little tougher now. Word to your mother. Was that tone low? I can't remember. Almost got it there. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. No. make the I thought I had it. Doggone it. That was tough right there.
Vanilla Ice I said, bliss, bliss, baby. <laughs> All right, let me put my initials in here. That's my top. That was my best. I like that game. You guys, uh, for those of you who may be watching who are waiting to get this game from Atari Age, I'm glad that you ordered it. It's a good, it's a really good port of Qbert. Um, I'm really sorry that it's not available. I don't know that it ever will be again. Um, if I ever find out that it is, I'll let everybody know. But at this point, I don't, I haven't heard anything. I don't know. So, anyway, all right. Appreciate you guys being here. Um, let me get over here. I want to remind you guys about the, um, on the wrong. Don't forget about Defender and uh, Jungle Hunt, uh, the Retro Bliss Ninja Contest. Get those scores into me by January 2nd, retrobliskgaming at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate appreciate you guys being here. I cannot talk. I don't know what's going on. It's old age. I mean, I'm telling you what. All right. All right. John Champo, thanks for st stopping by. And all you guys, everybody else for stopping by. Appreciate you guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.